Is there anyone out there? I know, hopefully somebody. Carolyn Brooks. Hey, Carolyn and Marsha. Sue and Logan. Hello, Logan. Barbara and Larry Shermick. Hi, Shermicks. Don Fry. Marcy, Marcy Shidey. Hey, Marcy. The Putts. Hello. Diane Hamaker. Hey, Diane. Ellen Rissinger. Hi, Ellen. The McGuire's. Hey, McGuire's. Jeannie and Greg Boyer. Hello. Bonnie and Nevin. Hey. Josie Brunner. Happy lunch hour, Josie. Melinda McGrory. Hi, Melinda. Robin Lupowitz. Oh, hey, Robin. From How so are you? far away. Oh, Robin. Gwen Weiser. Hey, Gwen. Sue Ritter. Sue. Steph Schneck. Steph. Jeannie and Mike. Hello, Henrys. John and Ann Bird. Hello, Birds. Deb Fry. Deb. Steph Gattens. Hey, Steph. How's Myerstown? Nicole Cherise. Hey, Nicole. Oh, thanks for uh, Adam's sermon notes. The uh, envelope was awesome. <laughs> the Noise family. Hey, Melissa, Dave, and Ryan. The Stoltzes. Hello, Stoltzes. Bobby Newcomb. Hi. Joan Lincoln. Hey, Joan. The Lutzes. Hello. Connie Aarons. Hey, Connie. Sue Rush. All right. Hey, Sue. Gary and Chris Heck. And the Hex. All right. Lynn Engel. And Lynn Engel. Jane Limpus. Oh, hey, Jane. How are you? It's funny. You all don't see Pastor Bill looking at the phone watching these names. <laughs> the Kleins. <laughs> hey, Kleins. I think we're good. Okay, we're going to get started. Good afternoon and welcome to today's devotional. The passage I'm sharing is a few verses from 2 John. The first one is this. Grace, mercy, and peace will be with us from God the Father and from Jesus Christ the Father's Son in truth and love. And the second verse. Although I have much to write to you, I would rather not use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to come to you and talk with you face to face so that our joy may be complete. Oh, I do agree with that verse. Although I have much to write to you, I would rather not use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to come to you and talk with you face to face so that our joy may be complete. I cannot wait to be together, to gather together in the same space, to see each other face to face so that our joy may be complete. As time goes on, it becomes more and more clear to me how you all are the body of Christ when we gather together. And that is when we feel that joy. I know that these daily devotionals are speaking to you all and are giving the opportunity that, that you are able to see our faces, to see us, and it's helping us connect at this time, but maybe you've noticed it's just not the same. It leaves us longing and desiring that time to be together. Now, while Christ's joy is in us now, I don't want to say that it only happens when we gather together in the sanctuary or in this space. It is with us. Yet we know the greater joy of gathering together face to face in this place. As the pastors or the vicar try to quiet you all down before worship, we know the joy of handshakes and hugs and gathering around the altar for Holy Communion. We know the joy of gathering around a table in the social hall for donuts, sticky buns, or sundaes. There has even been a suggestion that our first Sunday back should not only be sticky bun Sunday, but also Sundays on Sunday. I bet Denny Bowers could make a great banana split sticky bun Sunday, and I would, 
I can't wait to see that. I don't know about you, but the joy in that Sunday, whenever it is, will be overwhelming with smiles and tears and laughter and singing and praying and dancing like the best family reunion ever. I needed to be reminded of the joy in this place today. So much of the joy in this place, well, pretty much all of it, comes from the people gathered in this space. When we are together, we share highs and lows and we laugh and we pray and we connect and we share stories. We share our worries and our joys from our week. We love one another, we support one another, and we are physically there for one another. In the midst of this time of physical separation, what is bringing you joy? In what ways are you creating time and space to experience joy? And what things are coming as a surprise and a moment of joy for you when you least expect it? Take some time today to look for that joy, to jot it down or to share it with your family. Share those things that have brought you joy in the last day or two. Celebrate the feeling of joy. Share those joyous moments. For me, it came the other night at dinner when Billy absolutely nailed lip-syncing Mariah Carey. Apparently, I wasn't watching the first time and he hits me on the shoulder and he goes, hey, I just nailed it. You'll have to picture it for yourself, Billy lip-syncing Mariah Carey. He hit that really high note that she's really good at. But seriously, Look for those moments of joy. Celebrate those moments of joy because you may have some times when you need to relive those moments, when you need to tap back into those celebratory moments of joy. So seek that joy today, friends, and share it. Amen. A few announcements for the good of the order. Uh, daily devotions continue at noon, Monday through Friday. Wednesday, we will live stream Holden Evening Prayer at 7.30 p.m. Thursday, you are invited to dance and sing with Miss Sarah and her choir at 6.15 p.m. And Sunday worship is live streamed at 9 a.m. If you are in need of food or help running errands, please give us a call at the church. We can get you paired up with folks who are willing to do porch side drop-offs if that's something that you could use or need help with. If you would like someone to talk to or would like to call people on the phone, uh, let us know and we can get you paired up in that way as well. You are not going through this time alone. We know we cannot be physically together right now and we miss you and we love you and we are praying for you. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for patience, hope, love, and joy. Help each of us to continue to serve you by caring for our neighbors. Open our eyes, ears, and hearts this day to see and experience joy. Hold each of us in your care. Hold each of us in the palm of your hand and don't drop us. All this we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now receive God's blessing. May the God of all steadfastness and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another. May you depart from evil and do good. May you seek peace and joy and pursue it. And may you go from this gathering wrapped in God's grace now and forever. Amen.